Assalamualaikum and very good morning to all of you. Welcome back to this channel. In this video, I will discuss about tutorial 4.7, which is the full design of simply, support, simply supported flange beam. So this tutorial is a combination uh, between several tutorials, uh, which is uh, from the, the design of beam sections, the shear reinforcement, as well as the deflection. This is the full uh, questions where you can uh, refer the detail in page 192 in the detail. So this is a simply supported beam which having the flange, the flange width is equal to uh, the effective flange width is equal to 1200 millimeter and uh, exposure class is XC3. And this is the permanent load, GK, including the beam safe weight, which is equal to 40 kilonewton meter. And the characteristic variable load, QK, is equal to 20 kilonewton meter. The total length of the beam is equal to 6,000 millimeter or equal to 6 meters. So here is the solutions. First of all, we have to calculate the action and the analysis of the beam. This part you can refer to tutorial 4.5. So the ultimate design actions is equal to 84 kilonewton meter. And then the design bending moment is equal to 378 kilonewton meter. And then the design shear force is equal to 252 kilonewton. Then uh, we proceed to design of main reinforcement, where this part you can refer to tutorial 2.10. So the effective depth is equal to 554.5 millimeter, and the D prime is equal to 49 millimeter. Next is the design of main reinforcement. Since this section is considering considering the flange. So we have to check the MF. Based on the calculations, the MF is equal to 1198 kilonewton meter. And we compare to the design moment, which is uh, around to uh, which is around 378 kilonewton meter. We calculated before. This one is greater, okay. MF is greater than design moment. So the neutral axis is located in the flange then we can design as the rectangular section. And the K value is 0 .1, uh, 0 0.170, which is greater than 0 0.167. Then we can design as singly reinforced. Therefore, the value of level arm Z is equal to 0 0.82D, or known as the Z balance. Then, the tension reinforcement D prime over D is equal to 0 0.090, which is lesser than 0 0.171. So we can use these equations to calculate the value of AS prime required. Then the value of AS prime required is equal to 31 millimeter square. So we can provide we can provide uh, 2H25. Okay, we can provide, uh, sorry, we can have provide 2H12 because the diameter of compression reinforcement is 12 mm. So the provided is around 2 to 6 mm square. And then uh, we can use these equations to calculate the AS required, which is equal to 1943 mm square. Then we can provide 4H25 Based on the table of steel reinforcement, the S provided is equal to 1964 millimeter square. Then we check the S minimum and S maximum as usual. The FCTM is equal to 2.6, and then the S minimum is equal to 2 to 1 millimeter square. This one is lesser than S provided. So it's okay. Then the S maximum is equal to 7,200 millimeter square, which is greater than the S provided. 
Next, we move to the result of shear reinforcement. In this case, you may refer to tutorial 3.4. Okay, first of all, is we calculate the VRD max for theta equal to 22 degree. Okay, which is equal to 456.3 kilometer. And this one is greater than our VED. Okay, as we calculated before, the VED is equal to 252 kilometer. So we can design the minimum link based on theta equal to 22 degree. Next, the design of shear reinforcement as W over S is equal to 0 0.47. And since we are using uh, diameter of link equal to 8 millimeters, so SW is equal to 100 millimeters square due to two legs of stirrup. So the spacing is equal to 213 millimeter. This is the limit spacing. Then we can propose a lower value, which is 200 millimeter. Okay. Then we check the S maximum, which is equal to 408.4 millimeter. Therefore, we can use H8 200 millimeter center to center near the support, which is lesser than the S maximum and lesser than the limit. Okay. Next uh, is design of minimum link for the mid span. The SW of S is equal to 0 0.24. The SW is equal to 100 millimeter square as before. And then the spacing is equal to four. Is limited to four one seven millimeter, and the S max, as we calculated before, is equal to four zero eight point four millimeter. So we can uh, choose the lesser value is which is the S maximum, and we make it as limit to four hundred only for to ease the construction process. Okay, and then the shear maximum, uh, shear resistance of minimum link is equal to 134 kilonewton. Therefore, we can find the distance of X for the shear reinforcement. By referring to tutorial 3.2, we can find that the X is equal to 1.405 meter. Therefore, we can uh, simplify to x equal to 1.425 meter to ease the process of uh, installation because the, it, it, it will be easier to make it uh, the increment of every 25 millimeters. Next, the longitudinal shear stress is equal to 1,500 millimeter. And then the moment Okay, here is equal to 283.5 kilonewton meter. The change in longitudinal force, delta FD, is equal to 226.4 kilonewton. Then the longitudinal shear stress is equal to 1.01 newton millimeter square. And then we compare to the value of 0 0.27 FCTK, which is equal to 0 0.49 Newton per millimeter square. So the this value is lesser than the VED. Therefore, we need the shear reinforcement. Okay, we need the transverse shear reinforcement in the flange. So we calculate the concrete strut capacity in the flange based on theta equal to 26.5 degree. We obtain the VED max is equal to 3.6 Newton per millimeter square, which is greater than the VED. Our VED is equal to 1.01 Newton millimeter square. So we can design the transverse shear reinforcement based on theta equal to 26.5 degree. Okay, next, the transverse shear reinforcement. ASF over SF is equal to 0 0.174. In this case, as we refer to tutorial 3.4 and tutorial 3.5, to tutorial, okay, uh, sorry, yes, tutorial 3.4 until tutorial 3.7, we are, we are using only one single bar. ASF is equal to, okay, for 
at at uh, eight millimeters is equal to fifty point three millimeters square. Therefore, the spacing is equal to two eight nine point one millimeter, and s minimum is equal to two zero three millimeters square. So we can provide h eight. Okay, we refer to this uh, table of steel reinforcement. Refer to the row for 8 mm diameter. Okay, which part, okay, which combination, okay, which uh, spacings of bar that will give us a greater value than 203 millimeter square. So, based on this table, we can use H8 at 225 millimeter center to center which will give us 2 to 3 mm square. So, we write down here, H8, 2 to 5 millimeters center to center. The ASF provided is equal to 2 to 3 millimeters square, then greater than the AS minimum. And the spacing, 2 to 3 millimeter, is lesser than the, the limit of 289.1 uh, mm. Okay, then the additional longitudinal reinforcement is equal to 315 kN, and then the additional tension reinforcement is equal to 7 to 4 meter, uh, millimeter square. So we can provide 2H25, okay, which will give us around 982 millimeter square. Okay, next is the check on the deflection. The row is, the value of row is equal to 0 .00, 0 0.00119. Row not is equal to 0 0.0050. Row prime is equal to 0 0.0002. Then we refer to table 7.4 in Eurocode 2. For the simply supported beam, the value of K is equal to 1.0. Then by using these equations, Based on clause 7.4.2 bracket 2 in Unicode 2, the L over D basic is approximately around 14.3. Next, we calculate the modif modification factors. The MF1, which is due to the area of steel reinforcement, as provided, you divide by as required, which is around 1.01. .01. MF2 equal to 0 0.8 because due to the flange. And then uh, due to the span, is 1.0 because our span is 6 meters and let, which is lesser than 7 meter. Okay, so the L over the allowable is equal to L over the basics times all these modification factors, which will give us the L over the allowable equal to 11.6. Then the L over the actual is equal to 11.0. So we compare these two values, we obtain a uh, you can observe that the L over D actual is lesser than L over D allowable. So the deflection is passed. Okay. Next is checking, uh, check on the cracking. Okay. Uh, for XC3, the limit, limiting crack width is equal to 0 0.3. Okay. Here is, uh, based on uh, table 7.1 in Eurocode 2 which is in page 119. You can observe here that for the quasi permanent load combinations, for case of XC3, the exposure, XC3 is the limiting value of crack width is 0 0.3 millimeter. So we settle these calculations where we can use the delta equal to 1.0. The FS is equal to 239.3. Okay, this is the steel stress. Then we refer to table 7.3 based on uh, the li limiting crack width equal to 0 0.3 millimeter, which is here. And then our stress in the steel is around 239.3. So we can refer to this uh, row, the row of 240 newton per millimeter. And since our WK or the limiting uh, crack width is equal to 0 0.3 mm, so the limiting bar spacing is 
okay. the displacing of bar is limited to 200 mm. Okay. So the bar spacing is equal to, uh, we can calculate by based on these equations. Okay, so this is the, 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 the bottom part of the beam. And as calculated before, we have we have the two leg of stirrup. And then at the bottom part of bottom part of the beam, we have four numbers of steel reinforcement. Okay, so the spacing of the bar, center to center spacing. Is calculated based on this. Okay, so this is the spacing center to center. This is S1, S2, and S3. So S1 is equal to S2 is equal to S3. We, want, we have to find the value of S1, S2, and S3. So uh, the spacing of bar is equal to this is the width of the beam okay, this is the bw and this is the c nominal this is also c nominal and this is the diameter of link here is also diameter of link and then there is, here is diameter of tension reinforcement over two this part also diameter of tension reinforcement over the two so you can calculate the bus spacing as equal to bw minus Two times of C nominal minus two diameter of link and minus uh, diameter of tension reinforcement and you divide by how many spaces that you have. You have S1, S2 and S3. So you divide by three. So the final answer, the bar spacing is equal to 63 millimeter which is lesser than the maximum allowable. Okay, based on our case, it's 200 mm. So the bar spacing is okay. So next, uh, the sketching of the beam detail. Okay, we can provide the detail, uh, including the space, uh, the, the span, the length of the span. And then, okay, the top reinforcement, we have 2H12. For the bottom reinforcement, we have here, for H25. Then near the support, we have H8200. Okay. Near support B also H8200. And then near the mid span, we have H8225. Okay. Sorry, this is transverse. Uh, we have H8 um, 400. Okay, we have H8 400. Okay, and then uh, we can sketch the uh, cross section detail. Okay, here we have uh, this, the, the, the top reinforcement. We have, we have two numbers of H12. Uh, the bottom reinforcement, we have four numbers of H25, okay, it's 4H25, this one is 2H12, and we have here the link is uh, at sub 11, H8400, H and then as the transverse shear reinforcement in the flange, we have H8225. Okay, this is the final detail of our beam. Okay, congratulations and thank you very much for your attention. Thank you for trying and you can try exercise A1 and A2 from the module. As usual, I have one question. What will happen to the design if larger size of beam section is used? Okay, this means that what will happen to the... Okay, if, I, if I increase the BW and the H, if the BW and the H is increased, what will happen to the MF? What will happen to the K? What will happen to the Z? What will happen to the 
AS uh, time required what will happen to the AS required and what will happen to the uh, V at the maximum what will happen to your spacing of spacing of shear reinforcement also what is going to happen to your AS prime uh, provided and what will happen to your AS provided uh, as well as what will happen to the to the deflection okay I hope you can settle this problem and find your own answer Okay, thank you very much for watching me in this video. I hope to see you again in other video. Try again. Keep trying. Keep moving. Keep motivated. See you. Assalamualaikum. Have a good day. Bye-bye.